I always get asked the question, why is it mandatory in a 1% club to ride an American-made bike? We're going to break down an interview from Sonny Barger, the national president of the Hells Angels, and we're going to get into the root into the pioneers of this culture and why american-made bikes are so important and mandatory and we get into it on this episode of demons road tv and no oh yeah we ghosting baby Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to talk about it. The fascination with American made bikes. We're going to break down a Sonny Barger, the national president of the Hells Angels interview. And we're going to get really into the history of why Harley Davidson why american bikes are the brand of one percenters why is it mandatory a lot of people tell me i have a bike that looks just like a harley it's, it's a jab bike but it has everything on it to make it look like a harley davidson it's just not an american made bike why can't i get into a one percent club why won't i make the grade well we're gonna get into a deep history this is the perfect video that i feel that is not represented on the internet right now we're gonna break down the history of why the forefathers of this culture mc culture only ride american and we're gonna get into it the first thing i want you to do like we always do on this channel is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on tools doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts big shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row make sure you hit the bell so you get the notification they have not been sending notifications out a lot of people been telling me it even people that hit the bell so just make sure you hit that bell big shout to everybody that supports the demons row clothing the merch shelf is underneath every video you can also support the cash app dollar sign demons row or the paypal demons row at gmail.com and let's get into this clip from the legendary Sonny Barger and we're gonna break this down piece by piece and really get into the history of why we ride American motorcycles in this culture. You know, and speaking of young people, in the motorcycle world, particularly in the club world, there's a lot of pop-ups here in Northern California, new clubs coming up, young guys, and a lot of them are riding metrics. I always wanted to ask you how you thought about that. About riding what? Riding metrics, uh, European or Japanese made bikes. Well, the thing of it is, and like I was born in 38. I grew up during the Second World War. I want to break this down piece by piece. Sonny said an important thing. He was born in 1938 during the Second World War. Now, you got to understand the psyche. This is, this is the forefather of 1% culture. You gotta remember what's going on at that time. Mussolini, Stalin, Hitler, Japan are against the United States. So he's growing up as a kid and every day he looks on the news, he's seeing enemy, enemy, enemy. So think about growing up at that time and then they hit Pearl Harbor, Japan hits Pearl Harbor. How do you think he feels if he's one of those people that is a kid and he's hearing about Pearl Harbor or he lost family members or people that are part of the culture that he grew with and is going to mold and create the Hells Angels. How do they feel about Japan at that time? So you got to think about it. I wanted to bring you into the psyche real quick because if you're right now, you fast forward and you're riding a jab bike and you're looking at it like, 
what's his problem with jab bikes what's you know what's the old school's problem with jab bikes we're getting deeper into the reason why you would feel the same way if you lost family members country you know members are dying out there because they bombed and attacked our country they literally in pearl harbor killed thousands of americans so let's get back into the clip i'm a pearl american i drive a chevrolet pickup truck i ride an american bread corner horse and i rode an american bike one thing i also wanted to touch on that's very important and relevant to me he said he's a pro-american and i feel that one percenters get a rap that is supposed to be like i know the saying no religion and politics or whatever but this is one of the pioneers telling you that one percent culture is built on being pro-american so us talking about what's going on in the country is one percent culture we stem from patriots that's what our culture stems from so to tell us that we have to separate and not have a voice and not talk about what's going on in the country and stuff like that you're hearing it from one of the pioneers that is not what we're based on so i just wanted to throw that in as a big to all the people that complain about politics but let's get back into the clip and i rode an american bike right. and i refused not to and until victory came along i was stuck with that other american right, bike right. and they will not say the factory will not say the words hell's angels in the same sentence those two words so i'll just call it the other bike and uh but i'm very happy with the lines. but it's an american bike i have a choice right. now i didn't before on another note what he just brought up about harley davidson i'm a, i'm gonna I'm call them out and i'm gonna say it straight what he said is something that I felt for a long time. I feel like Harley Davidson has put themselves above the culture. We're the ones that fund them, and I feel like they don't appreciate. And listen, I ride, I ride a Harley. I got a 2017 Soft Tail Slim. I love that bike. I had a Victory before. I felt like the Victory was more durable than Harley. I feel like Harley is made to like for little things to go wrong so that you can you know keep upgrading it or keep wanting a new piece but what sunny is saying i agree with 1000 percent and i feel like they need to be humbled and they need to not be mentioned if they don't want to mention us they don't want to appreciate the fact that we're the reason why people pick up motorcycles why people want to ride people grew up idolizing sunny and wanting to be like him and that's why they jumped on a motorcycle so hardly not to recognize him or recognize any of us is a disrespect to the culture so let's get back into the clip and the young guys coming into clubs a lot of them want to ride these the metrics do you have an issue in your club or are you still american um, only well we don't everybody says we have a rule that you have to ride the other bike we do not have that rule that's a fallacy okay. what the thing is i say people should ride what they're comfortable on right. and uh, for 53 years i rode something i didn't like but it was the only american bike hit the like button if you get value out of this but it's so ironic how he said that he rode a bike for many years that he didn't even like and that's loyalty that speaks to loyalty that's like me running around with a new york giants hat even when they suck one of the worst teams in the league it's about loyalty it's about putting that time in you know what i mean but it's so funny because something that he didn't even like inspired a whole culture like you don't people don't think about it but he's one of the pioneers people grew up watching him and wanting to do what he did and it's just funny to me that he didn't even really like the bike that he was riding and inspired so many people and that's why i'm so big on originality and we have to continue to set trends and not be followers i'm big on setting new trends and i feel like you know like pioneers that's what they always do they always find a way to do things that other people don't do and that's why it's so important for me that instead of following everything that was done back in the days you know the same looks the same fashion stuff like that us evolving setting new trends making some of the pioneers proud of the new trends we set and maybe even get them to follow some of the trends while they're still here with us that's where i want to take it to with demons row and let me know in the comments 
what type of bike you ride give me a pound whatever type of bike you ride and like sonny said it's all about what you feel comfortable with what type of club works for you but i really wanted to break this down because i want people to understand why it's so important in the core of what we believe in to ride american bikes and i think that even now with everything that's going on in the country with everything being made in china this or made in taiwan that you know us taking the pride in the bike that we ride he said even the the car that he rides is american he wears american clothes like we need to put that money into our culture into people if you know somebody that has a clothing line or whatever wear that instead of wearing some foreign stuff or you know stuff made from another country so let's continue to grow and let me know if there's any other things that we can get deeper to into the culture because i've been doing this for two years now and i want to take it to a supreme level hopefully get some interviews with with some of the pioneers but let's give light this week's certified ghost that goes out to Alyssa marie represent florida she's 29 been riding since she was 17 she's pushing the 2016 gsxr 750 she's part of a motorcycle group called the shield Alyssa, you are a certified ghost stat so if you know anybody that certified ghost or ghost step material hit me at demonsrow at gmail.com send me a little bio four or five pictures and a video riding or with your motorcycle big shout to everybody that supports the show if you want to support hit that cash app dollar sign demons row or paypal demons row at gmail.com and thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and oh yeah we ghosting baby